everybody, Stacey here with Pitch Deck Fire, and I'm so glad you've joined us for another one of our Pitch Hacks of the Week this week. If you haven't been with us before, we cover tips and tricks on pitching, pitch deck, sales decks, investor decks, and live presentations. So that means if you're a startup looking for funding or an established company looking for new customers, maybe you're even in an accelerator or an incubator program, all of you guys can find value here in our Pitch Hacks. So let's hop right into it. What's our Pitch Hack of the Week this week? Pitch Hack of the Week this week is... What do I wear when I'm pitching at a pitch event or an investor meeting? These can actually be different answers. <laughs> so it can sometimes be challenging to determine what exactly the dress code is in the startup community. I'm sure you've seen various um, you know, images of the startup founder. We've got Steve Jobs wearing the turtleneck. We've got a lot of people wearing hoodies. We've got t-shirts, more relaxed style. So if you're coming from the corporate world or you've done some presentations in other spaces and you usually see people very dressed up giving presentations in full suits perhaps, that may not jive very well with the startup community. Um, when you're presenting at a pitch event, uh, generally speaking, I would say it's more okay to be relaxed and less dressed up, especially in the startup community when you're pitching at a pitch event in the startup community because it's very common to see people wearing a startup t-shirt with their actual brand on it. That can be a really good opportunity to give you kind of that a uh, little bit of extra branding and extra brand recognition. So wearing a startup t-shirt with your own logo on it can be very valuable. Um, that might be a little bit overdone lately because a lot of people do that. Um, I've even seen some quirky t-shirts that say, you know, typical startup t-shirt instead of the actual startup's logo. So keep that in mind as well. Uh, I would say err on the side of more casual. It might be very uncomfortable for you to show up in a you know, full suit, button up shirt, high heels, you know, that kind of look, that ex you know, a, a dressed up more business attire uh, when everyone else there is wearing a t-shirt and jeans, right? So it's sometimes difficult to determine this. I would look at past uh, events on Facebook or on social media to see what people wore last year and I would generally err on the side of less dressed up. You don't need to be wearing a full suit. If you're unsure, you can always go like somewhere in the middle, so maybe like polo for guys or a button up shirt that's like rolled up sleeves and a, you know, jeans and then for girls, you can wear something like a, you know, a nice shirt but not maybe a button up shirt or um, something like that, jeans, uh, that sort of thing to kind of keep it down a notch, but still look put together and um, organized and professional in some level. Uh, but in general, with pitch events, you do want to go on the side of a little less dressed up. You really don't want to be wearing a full-on suit. Now, when you're pitching in front of potential investors, though, I would say try to err on a slightly higher level of uh, dressed up. Again, it's the startup community. You may not be wearing a full suit. It depends on the type of investor. If you're talking to an angel investor versus a BC, that can be a different scenario. So definitely err on the side of slightly more dressed up when you're going to talk to a potential investor. It doesn't hurt in those instances to be dressed up. It really doesn't. Um, you know, check out the culture, company culture of the place you're, you're looking for investment from and really just feel comfortable in your own skin. I mean, pay attention to that more than anything else. Uh, you want to be dressed up a little bit more for you know the pitching to a potential investor than you would for a pitch competition. Um, but in general, we aren't usually going the kind of like full formal route in either case. Um, it depends on the investor group, so look at them and look at what their needs are and also look at the location you're at. The venture capital groups that are in New York uh, might want you to be more dressed up than the venture capital groups in Silicon Valley or you know in Boise, right? It's a big difference depending on the company culture of the places that you're pitching at and the city and those sorts of things. So generally at a pitch event, uh, you want to be slightly less dressed up. When you're pitching to a potential investor, a little bit more dressed up. Uh, but in general, we're not hitting either of the two extremes and certainly never show up with, you know, like a tank top and shorts or something like that to a pitch event. This is not, you know, a beach party. It's, you know, a pitch event. So just a quick video today. I hope that answered your question on what to wear to your next pitch event or investor meeting. Thank you guys so much for joining us. If you have any ideas or thoughts on what to wear to pitch competitions or to investor meetings, maybe you even have a picture of what you've worn. I would love to hear about it in the comments below. It'd be super valuable for our audience. Also, if you have any new ideas for upcoming pitch hacks, there's a link below as well. I'd love to answer your question in an upcoming video. Um, give us a little thumbs up or like and subscribe and you'll find out more about upcoming pitch hack videos. We put out new pitch hacks every single week, so I hope to see you guys here again soon. Happy pitching!